Hi, welcome back to ODE. Today I have another unboxing to show you and this is something that I bought and let me show you. I have here my knife but let's see, it has like a easy opening but sometimes this stuff is not that easy but I think it was. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at my this way it's easier, at my latest purchases. So, they have paper, which is nice instead of plastic. Although it makes lots of noise. And now I have here the stuff. And this is something, um, this was bought, this is not those kind of sponsored videos. Uh, I bought these from Fontoplumo. It is a nice store, I like them, so I bought these from them. And here, and we have here, I think you could see there, this is the Lamy Safari Originals, or original as it is called. Uh, called, sorry. Let me just grab a uh, paper here. So, I have here the two editions for 2021 and I think they are nice, I'll have to check them. First, I want to go to the ink. I bought this one, this is the diamine or diamine salamander. I've been told this is an ink that will be somehow interesting for those kind of green inks that I like uh, and so this is a, a color that I need to try with the other inks that I like like the Mumbla Daniel Defoe that is getting empty and I will not buy uh, any more bottles at very expensive prices I just want to when it's over it's over but it's nice to know that maybe this will be a uh, Replacement for that ink, not sure. I have also the Rotor and Cleaner uh, Out Cold Clone, which looks nice, at least I like it. I don't need it to be the, the exact same ink, but something that I like, and I like those. So, this is something that I bought. Then, Frank, let me take this out. Frank, because uh, I I've been dealing with uh, Fontoplumo for some time now. Um, I asked, I, I told him that I want to buy this one and the Tulami Safari. And I also said that I was quite interested in this ink. This is a KWZ ink. It is a regular ink, it's not a, um, any special ink but it is a special edition so I'm quite interested in that. There is no special labeling here but it says there. It is a Fonto Plumo exclusive and it is called Oscar. It is a brown ink. I love brown inks. And I want to show you the label. Okay, it's open now. Oh, it is wrapped and protected to avoid leakage, so I think it's nice. And here it is, Oscar. So this is a Fontoplume exclusive, you can see there. And it is called Oscar. And it is called Oscar because Oscar is the dog. I'm not sure if it is Frank's dog or any or from any anyone else that works there at the Fontoplume, I'm not sure. But they they show this dog several times on their Instagram, so I'm quite. It's fun. It's the the dog. It is the store's dog. Let's call it that way. So this is the dog that is usually on Fontoplumo's Instagram, and so I'm quite interested in this. I said I wanted to buy this one, and he said, "Make all your order, and I will uh, uh, offer you the." the bottle of the Oscar ink. So this was a present from Frank from Fontoplume. So thank you a lot. I'm quite happy with that. 
Now, my main purchase of this, because I wanted to have the Lamy, just because I've been showing you special editions every year, at least of the Lamy Safari, not always of the Lamy All Star, because I don't think I'm such a fan of the Lamy All Star. I wanted to get this uh, version also from this year, and because I have some plans of doing videos with them, and I, I thought it would be nice to use the cost of the postage to buy something more. So I bought the inks. This is very, very inexpensive, these diamond inks. And this one, it is a fun thing to try. Now let's take a look at the Lamy. There are two pens. They don't say outside, yes, they say which one they are. So let me check on my paper. Those are called Lamy Safari Original Collection because they go to the first colors of Lamy Safari pens. One is called Savannah Green, the other one is called Terra Red. And let's start with the Terra Red, that is not my favorite. Just for beginning. And here it is. One thing that is nice is it looks they changed their boxes. I didn't like that much those um, ribbed boxes that then Ving Sung started to copy. I think this is much simpler, nicer and smaller because the others were more bulky. They always arrived uh, destroyed or the seller sometimes just flattened them so they could reach here in good condition. So here is the, the Terra Red. I saw many pictures online. I also make some photos for my Instagram or for my blog sometimes. And I know that it's very hard to portray some of the colors, but I think this is how I expected it to be, not how I saw it on some photos, and I'm glad with that. So the regular one that comes with the regular blue ink cartridge, I'm not, I don't think they made special inks for these year's colors, but when they did, I always got a little bit disappointed that they didn't make a matching, they didn't send a matching ink cartridge to the pen. But now, this year they didn't do it, so, okay, there's no big problem about that. So this is the Terra Red. And I was quite interested in this pen. As I told you, red and reddish colors are not my all-time favorite, but some of my favorite pens are of this color. So I'm planning of making videos about pens about these colors. I have to think how I will structure them. And I bought it because it reminded me the color of the the Parker Centennial Blue Full, the big red, but maybe it is more close because of the shine, more close to the 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 senior big red, the vintage one from the 1920s. But I I need to to put them side by side just to check. But I think they are in the same color family, in same family color, color family color family. And so uh, I need to think how to structure a video about this. This pen is those matte ones, so I think they are nice. And that's what I'm going to do uh, one of those days. So here it is my collection of Lamy Safari pens. There is one missing. Let me just try to find it. Here it is, it is the, the petrol. So these are the safaris that I have. Um, this is not safari, this is a vista, but let's... Let, these are the uh, plastic ones that I have, and they are nice. I really prefer those with this kind of matte finish. But then uh, I always I also like yellow, so I have these yellows that are not matte, but I enjoy them. And then I have 
a few more than I should, in my opinion, but I also have this green because I think these bright colors are amazing and Lamy Safaris are a little bit like Caveco pens. Uh, you may try not to collect them, but sometimes they just find your way. So, so this is the Terra Red, which is an interesting color, very different from everything else. The other pen that I what is the other color? So it's no surprise, I think all of you already saw this somewhere online. It is the Savannah Green, and I think this Savannah Green is a very beautiful color. Also with the black nib, a fine nib as I usually ask for. And so this will be also shown many times after. I love this kind of military green color. And so I'm quite excited to try it. Maybe this pen goes well with the salamander ink. I'm not sure. So these are the two colors. These are nice. By the way, I know about a store here in Lisbon that still has the original uh, green from the 1980s. So I'm quite interested. Maybe I, I only need to check the, the price. I don't think they are expensive because it is a new old stock and it is just forgotten there. But it's not a fountain pen. I'm not sure if it is a mechanical pencil. I don't know if they were they had mechanical pencil back then or if it is a ballpoint pen. But but if it's not expensive I and if I get one day to go out of these lockdowns and confinements, I may go there and try to buy it, as I told you, if it is not expensive, just to compare the original color with the new one, because I think that may be nice. And so, let's put this a little bit aside. This is what I just bought from Fontopluma. Let me just show you the card of the, sh of, the sh of the store. You can check them, they are nice people, so you'll be happy with the service. And so I'm happy also, and I'm quite curious to try this Oscar ink. Uh, maybe I, when I get many inks from in one batch, because they came all from the same, same store or they came from the, the same brand, sometimes I do those swatching videos, but maybe I'll try to see a few inks that I didn't swatch already and that may make some sense to do it and maybe I will include these on that next swatch vi swatching video that I don't know when will arrive, but maybe someday it can be fun for you to, to check. So, this is all I have to show you today. Two additional pens for my collection. I like the colors a lot. This one makes a lot, lot of sense because of the other pens that I have with colors that are relati relative to this one. And this one, this is a color that I really like. And I think it may even go well between this very bright green and the petrol. I think it makes sense, at least in my head it does. So, thank you all for watching, I hope to see you here soon on the channel. Bye!